Yep, still seeing 20 fingers. That can't be good. Captain, are there two of you standing there? Oh, I thought you were someone else. I guess I'm still seeing double. And also hallucinating. I took a blow to the head during the mutiny. Been double hallucinating ever since. I was quartermaster on the Albatross until Broughty Bloodshark led a mutiny. He and his traitors captured most of the crew while we explored the cave of broken sails for a lost treasure. Captain should be up by the cave. She can tell you more. You aren't with the Dominion, are you? I'm captain of the independent sailing vessel Albatross. We found a map to an Imperial treasury that led us here, to the Cave of Broken Sails. But when we tried to claim it, our fortunes ebbed with the tides. We are tired of sailing independently. We planned to hand over the treasure to the Thalmor so they could make us privateers. But Browdy Bloodshark led a mutiny, captured most of my crew, and kidnapped my wife. Once he has the treasure, he'll kill them all. Of course. You're the only hope I have of getting my wife back from Browdy Bloodshark. I'll tell you everything I know about the Imperial death traps inside that cave. Browdy Bloodshark thinks she can unravel the secrets of the treasure's guardians. He'll keep her alive until she's no longer useful. Or until he sees me. Said he'd kill her the moment I show my face. Bastard. Undead guardians. The Imperials must really want to keep people away from the treasure if they resorted to necromancy. Oh, and watch the floors for traps. Fire, spike plates, one wrong step and you'll be mutton on a spit. I ran. Sword arm was useless, and there's no way I can rescue my crew if I'm dead. Didn't realize so few of us escaped. But you're nowhere near as banged up. If you help rescue my crew, my wife, well, not all the treasure has to go to Elden Root. All right. You can access the cave through the old mine behind me. Oh, and if you spot any of my crew, send them this way. We'll need more numbers to take out the mutineers.
Help! Is anyone there? Help! Surrender! Wait, you're not one of those mutineer bastards. Please, you have to help me! A sailor on the Albatross. There was a mutiny. Broughty Bloodshark captured us and forced us to set off the traps in this damned cave. We fell one by one. Some of us ran, but I haven't seen any other crew, aside from Nutal, I mean. He's my trained monkey. Well, he's more than that. Full-fledged crew monkey of the Albatross. We have him untie hard-to-reach knots in the rigging. Wait, have you seen any of my crew? We can't be the only ones to escape the bloodbath in the cave. The captain's alive? Rachin's luck! That's good news! Listen, Broughty Bloodshark is dead set on getting into the Imperial Vault. If Captain Lin Wen sent you to find the crew, you'd better get there before that bloodthirsty bastard kills them all off. Here, take this bag of dried fruit. Toss some at the disarming mechanism, and Nutal will do the rest. That little guy is the only way I made it through. You two stay safe. I'll find the captain. We won't leave you to do this alone.
You work fast. Bulog found us and told us what happened. All we had to do was follow the trail of corpses and disarmed traps. Bulog said you went after the treasure that had Browty Bloodshock so worked up. Did you find it? Let me see those papers. Preservation room? Oh no. Browdy Bloodshock doesn't have enough mutineers to crew the Albatross. Bulog said he kept going on about needing a skeleton crew. I think he meant a crew literally made of skeletons. It must be why he needs my wife. The writing on the back of Fainir's map was coded, except for the phrase, Preservation Ritual. That must be it. Once she decodes the ritual, Browdy Bloodshark will turn my crew into his undead minions. The last we saw, Bosun Fearin guarded the long hall into the Great Cavern. If that crafty bastard sees me approach, he'll fall back and warn Browdy Bloodshark. Then my wife dies. If he hasn't already fallen to the undead, I want you to hold his attention while we slip by and free up some more of my crew. Oh, Bulag wanted to speak with you before you left. But if you just want to get moving, we'll see you inside the Great Cavern. <laughs> the captain's concerned about Fainir. She should be. But I spent a lot of time in the Crow's Nest, so I always try to know what's ahead of me. I last saw Heroni and Radir near the Great Cavern. They may know more about Browty Bloodshark's plans. Neither are mutineers. She was Browty Bloodshark's lover, but they had a falling out. They fought so much the captain had to put them on separate watches. She takes whatever side he doesn't, so she's no mutineer. But Heroni knows how he thinks. She might have insight that we don't. He's a Nord who came aboard the Albatross with Browty Bloodshark, but made an oath of loyalty to the captain. He refused to join the mutiny when it happened. The two were Axe Brothers, or something like that, so Radir may have a sense of what comes next. Nice work back there. Nuthal found an old vent that led to this chamber. More climbing than I'd have liked, but we made it through. My crew is making short work of the mutineers behind us, but there are still plenty more in the cavern. Agreed. But we need to draw him out. Otherwise, he'll order the mutineers to kill my crew. And if he sees my face, Fainir is as good as dead. We have to be smart about this. With fire. There's a barrel of Kindle pitch on the docks. If you burn the Imperial war supplies on the docks, everyone will be too focused on putting it out to worry about Browdy Bloodshark. When he shows his face, you can stick a blade through it. Here, take this whistle. Give it a sharp blast, and my crew will help you fight any mutineers in your path. Once they're distracted, we'll keep the mutineers off your back while you hunt Browdy Bloodshark. Good luck.
What are you doing out there? You came a long way to die, stranger. That's all you can manage. I'll give you the blood eater before I'm done. Did the captain put you up? I think you can stay. We have to get out of here. You don't understand. He's insane. He'll keep trying to control the undead until he succeeds. Then it's over. There's no way the mutineers will fight without him. Toward the end, he frightened even his most loyal sailors. Have you seen Captain Linwin? Is she all right? Thank the gods. If only I'd burned the cursed map to this place. But perhaps there's something to salvage here. The Dominion will welcome a cave full of Imperial war supplies. That should be enough for a full pardon and a letter of mark. You must know of our raids across the Long Coast. Well, that's behind us now. The treasure will wipe our debts clean so we can put our talents to use in the Queen's own navy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to find my wife. The traitors lost their fight once you killed Browty Bloodshark. I'd rather hang the lot of them, but Fania said some were coerced into it. Even so, they'll need some kind of punishment. What we first planned to do, once we inventory the weapons and supplies in this cave, we'll present the list to the Thalmor. If they like what they see, they'll give us our amnesty and make us part of the Queen's own navy. We were, but those days are over. I should have seen they never would be for Browdy Bloodshark. The damnable thing is, he was an excellent first mate. Up until the promise of treasure warped his mind, I suppose. Those who planned it will hang. The rest who were forced into it, they can leave, unless my crew objects. I need to spend some time with Fainir. Before you go, find Bulag. He put something together for you. Our way of saying thanks. It may not be much, but Bulag scraped together a reward. We can't exactly pay you in catapults. Not if we want the Dominion to take us in. What you did for us, we won't forget it. Because it's the unluckiest thing I could think of. The sight of those birds terrify sailors from one end of Tamriel to the other. You'd think they were Daedric princes with wings. This is all my fault. I don't want my ship filled with superstitious fools moaning about the Draugr below the waves, or cursed gold and treasure chests. I want a straight-backed crew ready to knock the Draugr overboard and dispel ancient curses, so we can spend the gold. Beg for mercy. The captain may hear you. Can't say where the Albatross will head next, but you're always welcome aboard. None of us will forget what you did here. And Nutal won't forget either. Saving our lives is a little more than just help. 
Next time you see us, we'll be privateers. Nutal and I are going to miss you. We scrounged a bit and came up with something. I hope it serves you well.